going to be followed by Lieutenant General. Lieutenant General Mujira is being escorted by Major General Leopold Chanda, Joint Chief of Staff. I can see his, they are being trained by our Commissariat for Honorable Major General Ken and Brigadier General Matthew Buremi, our Chief of Training. And your family, our senior citizen, the Honorable Sam Kutesa, our boss in the Ministry of Defense and Veteran Affairs, Madame Rosetti Viengoma, the generals who are here, and all of you, dear mourners, let me first uh, take this opportunity to thank all of you who have turned up this morning for this service as we eulogize our national hero, a freedom fighter, uh, a liberator, and indeed, as I said yesterday, an icon of the liberation struggles in this country. You cannot talk about liberation struggles in this country without mentioning the name of General Pecos Kutesa. In other words, his name is synonymous with all these struggles. I'm here to represent the Chief of Defense Forces, General Wilson Mbadi, who has not been able to make it because he had other commitments. So I've been requested to uh, step in. This is a sad day, indeed, uh, for this country. For the UPDF, we have uh, not had a very good time. In this last uh, two weeks, we have lost three generals. The other day, uh, we lost uh, General Wabantu, then General Pecos, and uh, this morning, we lost uh, General Paul Rokech, who has been the Deputy Inspector General of Police. So these are really sad times for the EPDF. I'm here to read the message as presented to me, and uh, I'm going to read it verbatim uh, because I'm not supposed to change anything. It's a message from the, from the Chief of Defense Forces. And the message goes as follows. Uh, the believed family of the late RO 00026 Lieutenant General Pecos Onesimus Kutesa, officers and men of the UPDF and fellow mourners. Condolence message. On behalf of officers and militants of UPDF, and on my own behalf, please accept our heartfelt condolences at this moment of grief following the demise of our beloved general officer, your son, Lieutenant General Retired Pecos Onesimus Kutesa, which occurred on the 17th of August 2021 at Max Circuit Hospital, India. The cause of death is natural. The UPDF family extends its sympathy and condolences to the departed comrades' family, relatives, and friends. Lieutenant General Pecos Onesimus Kutesa joined the Defense Forces in 1979. He diligently served his country and NRA, UPDF, specifically in both command and staff positions with professionalism, dedication, passion, and excellent work ethics. He was a reliable nationalist and Pan-Africanist. The departed Lieutenant General uh, has therefore been instrumental in the transformation of NRA stroke UPDF and the restoration of peace and security in the country. The UPDF is saddened by the loss of such a senior and professional cadre whose input was still much needed. We therefore join the family, relatives and friends at this most difficult time to mourn the foreign comrade whom we shall always miss and remember in equal measure. Military history. Lieutenant General Pecos Onesimus Kutesa joined from NASA for the liberation struggle against Idamin 
in 1979 from Masaka Secondary School upon completion of East African Advanced Certificate of Advanced School of Education. He fought in the 1979 Liberation War and later in June 1979 proceeded to Monduli in Arusha, Tanzania to train as an officer cadet with over 400 other Ugandans. On the 31st of March 1981, he fled the UNRA from Nakasongora to join the NRA liberation struggle in Ruero Bushes, where in the early days of the struggle, he was appointed platoon commander and eventually the officer commanding Sikoi, which was later merged with other mobile companies to form the NRA mobile brigade, famous for major battles under General Retired Karibu Kanduanoho, a.k.a. Salim Saleh. He is remembered for his various roles played in the liberation struggle, among which was the attack of Masinde Barracks on the 20th of February 1984, when he was the commanding officer of the 1st Battalion with the late Colonel Stanley Mohanji, commanding the 3rd Battalion, and Major General Stephen Kashaka, who is here, commanding the 5th Battalion and Major General Matei Chargonza, commanding the Black Bombers. By the time of his demise, he had just been honorably retired from active service a couple, a couple of weeks ago. On appointments held, he was an instructor in Nakasongara Recruit Training School from 1980 to 81. He later served as ADC, the chairman of the High Command. He acted as a platoon commander on the attack of UNRA aid detached at Kachiri on the 4th of April, 1981. He was a commanding officer of the 1st Battalion, Data Brigade Commander, 157 Brigade, that was between 1987 and 1988. He was a division commander, 4th Division, between 1988 and 1989. Later served as the Chief of Training and Recruitment between 1988 and 1990. He served as the Chief of Doctrine Development and Synthesization 2009-2021 and also served as a Member of Parliament representing the Uganda People's Defense Forces in the 10th Parliament. Uh, the military courses attended. He attended the following military courses. He did the Officer Cadet course in Monduri. Tanzania, the Battalion Commander's Course in China, 1989, a Senior Command and Staff Course in Ghana in 1990, Strategic Studies, Cairo Military University, 1991, Joint Tactical Command Course in China, 1994, Law of Armed Conflict Course, uh, 1995, and Peacekeeping Operations Course in 1998. Family matters, according to our records, the late general is survived by the widow, Mrs. Dora Kutesa, with six children, as indicated below. Nuhuchre Karo, daughter, Kutesa Kwesi Kanwani, son, Magundu Paul, son, I'm just reading as it is. Nankuma Sheri, daughter. Nandi Ishta, daughter. I see Nanja Par, daughter. His primary next of kin is Mrs. Dora Kutesa, his wife, and his secondary next of kin is Kwesi Kutesa, who is his son. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Signed, W.M. Mbadi, General Chief of Defense Forces. So that is uh, the message from the Chief of Defense Forces, General Mbadi. Very, very senior to us as far as the uh, uh, service in the forces is concerned. But uh, we are friends in a way. He always looked out for me. I remember when I was the commander of the Ahmad Brigade based in Masaka, and he would be going to the Akaikura. He would never pass Masaka without checking on me. And some of you who follow events on the national functions, I'm always by his side. 
even in these meetings, whether it is High Command, whether it is Army Council, somehow we set up a relationship that all the time we sit together, and you know he had a, a very incredible brain power. He had the capacity to follow the proceedings in a meeting, at the same time read a book, at the same time write. So he would ask him, how do you do all those things? You think he's reading, you see him trying to respond to what the point that has been raised. He was highly intellectual, he was deeply philosophical. In fact, some people wouldn't even understand him. If you don't have the brains to match his, he would try to explain to you something, and if you, you really don't get it. He was deeply, deeply. Uh, somebody said that I'm standing here on behalf of government. Yes, I wouldn't say no in a way, but I'm representing the Minister of Defense, and I want to first start by apologizing to Dora and your family on behalf of my ministers for not being here with you today. It's not that it was intentional, but uh, it's because they are out on duty. But the minister himself is in uh, Arusha, his colleague is in Nairobi, and uh, their other colleague is in West Nile. So I bring their apologies. They would have loved to be here with you, and indeed, uh, they are with you in spirit. Uh, I am standing here on behalf of the Minister of Defense in particular. Uh, maybe talking on behalf of uh, 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 government, uh, the UPDF has already talked about uh, uh, the work that uh, General Kutesa has done. There is a whole history about him, and it's already been explained to all of you. And indeed, government has lost a very, very great person in the names of uh, General Kutesa. Uh, I have uh, a written speech uh, from the ministry because uh, all the ministry officials would have loved to be here. But uh, the announcement was about keeping the SOPs, and indeed some of the staff were not able to come because of that, because we thought that there was going to be limited numbers. But all the same, all the staff, the entire Ministry of Defense and Veteran Affairs, back there, they are condoling you. Uh, Dora and uh, your family. So I have uh, a written speech here to the family of late Lieutenant General Retired Pekos Kutesa, relatives, friends, and in-laws. Condolence message, it is with deep regret that I received the news about the untimely death of the late Lieutenant General Retired Pekos Kutesa. On behalf of the Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs, the Uganda People's Defense Forces, the entire staff, and on my own behalf, I express our deep condolences to the family for this tragic loss. I wish to pay tribute to the General, General Pekosikutesa's brilliant contribution in the service of our country during the course of his career that spanned over decades. The late General Pecos rose through the ranks and appointments to the rank of Lieutenant General, the rank at which he retired last month of July 2021. And indeed, this is very surprising. It's like a he did all the work, and when he retired, it was like he was saying bye to the service and to the country. So you can imagine he retired last month, and he died hardly a month after. General Kutesa was a constituent leader who will be dearly missed 
by all of us as a friend, but at the same time as a fighter who ensured that peace in the country was restored. He was an open-minded, responsive, and a fable general officer who had an excellent working relationship with others. I join you in mourning this tragic loss and pray that the legacy of his heroic service lives on in honor of his memory. The Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs firmly stands by the bereaved family and we pray that his soul rests in eternal peace. I may be to add to this written speech, I also want to thank Dora. General Kretzer was my friend, because I used to talk to him. I remember one time we were going to Soro to Karamoja, actually, and we stayed in Soroti Hotel. And in the morning, he came with a, with a heap of drugs that he was supposed to take that morning. So I looked at him, and he said, do you know what? I normally take a basket full of, you know, drugs. I said, we thank God that you are still alive, General Kutesa. And then I asked him, but General Kutesa, do you ever get on your knees and thank Dora for what he did for you? And then he laughed. I said, Dora is like Jesus Christ to you, because for her she went on the cross for you, and she gave her life so that you live. So thank you, Dora, for giving your life to your husband so that he lives. And indeed, like uh, the Archbishop said, you gave him an extra 12 years. If you hadn't given in your body to him, I don't think you'd have lived up to today. You've been there for him through sick and sin. In Nairobi, I was really feeling sorry for you when you went and he was, you know, very bad off. And, uh, you know, that, that rescue from Nairobi to India, and you were there on the plane with him, with your children, it was too much for you. But thank you for being a faithful wife to your husband. Thank you for seeing him through thick and thin up to the end of the time that uh, he left you. Uh, to the children, I think you have a wonderful mother. She has managed to look after your dad up to this time. I think she won't fail to look after you even when your dad is departed. The only thing you have to do for her is to support her because this is the time she needs your support. So I thank all of you who have come to support Dora and her children and I pray that the mighty Lord